who my daddy is. He's a the mayor of the city. You want to lose your job? You know that. You didn't ask me for nothing. You didn't ask me for no license. You didn't ask me for no insurance. You just literally put your hands off me. Cops typically track down and arrest criminals. But what happens when the cops' children become the offenders? Here are four instances when cops have to send their children to jail, starting with this drunk sheriff's son who fell asleep in his vehicle. On August 14, 2022, officers responded to the area of South Dillard Street and East Story Road in Winter Garden, Florida about a possible disabled vehicle. On arrival, the officer found a white 2000 Ford F-250 in the straight lane facing westbound with its engine running and lights on. As an officer approached the vehicle, he found a white male, later identified as Chase Mina, slumped over and asleep behind the steering wheel of the truck. There also were two open beer containers in the front two cup holders. However, Chase was too drunk to give the right answers. Where are you? Step towards the back of the car, okay? There you go. What's going on, man? Trying to leave the whole ride on. Yeah? Where are you coming from? Leave the ride on. The police asked where he was coming from, but he kept saying, the ride home. Not sure that's what the police want to hear. The police requested his ID and led him to their car. It's okay, man. Just give us your name and your birth. Stay on the truck for right now. That's your date of birth? Yep. Okay. And what's your name? Chase Mina. Chase what? Mina. M-I-N-A. -N -A. Don't lose your stuff here, bud. Well, I mean... Chase, just stay with the truck for right now, okay? Alright. Hey, Chase, if you want to leave that in the seat, then, can we step over in this, uh, this parking lot? So we can get you out of the road. Get you out of the yeah. Okay. Can you actually leave the keys, man? Um, and I'll explain everything, okay? Well. Just walk around. I just want to get you out of the road, man. Do you guys want to go around? You go around? Yeah, it's Chase, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Chase. So, the reason why we pulled you out of the car, well, first of all, we found you asleep in the light. Do you know how long you've been there? Nope. Okay, a minute. Okay. Have you been drinking tonight at all? A little bit? Okay. Um, so, right now, the concern is uh, for your ability to drive. So, I'm, I'm just going to ask you, would you be willing to answer some questions? Would you be willing to do some sobriety exercises for us tonight? Absolutely not. Okay. Is your ID in the car? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Just uh, sit tight. If you want to lean on this officer's car, I'll come right back to you, man. The police asked Chase if he'd had anything to drink, to which he replied with, a little. Well, it's possible to have some alcohol and still be sober, but from sleeping in the vehicle to his slurred speech to giving wrong answers to having difficulty in finding his ID, his a little might just be too much. 
and a DUI is very probable. The officers already have their evidence, but a field sobriety test would help confirm their deductions. However, Mina bluntly refused to take the test, but the police were lenient enough to explain the consequences and give him a second chance. Okay, Chase. All right. So generally what we do is we run you through some medical questions where you do the extra the field sobriety exercises. If you don't want to do those, you don't have to. Um, but right now you're asking us to make, base our decision on your ability to drive on what we've seen so far. And what we've seen so far is you asleep in the vehicle, you reek of alcohol, it, it, it's obviously you've been drinking, you told us that you came from the bar. So I, I just want to present you the opportunity again. Would you like to do field sobriety exercises? No. Okay. All right. Go ahead and turn around and put your hands behind your back. Chase was arrested, but wait, here's the moment of realization. Uh, he refused everything. Wouldn't talk to us, didn't want to do SFSEs. Obviously, that would be it. Um, is it Mina? It's Mina, stop. That's why I was, that's why I said, are you guys 26 on signal 14? No, I didn't really say that. I'm I said on the radio, it's Chase, it's Mina, Or sure, Mina, stop. I mean, would you? I mean, you would, I mean, we're do, we gotta do what we gotta do. Turns out Chase was Orange County Sheriff John Mina's son. But as the officer has right said, what must be done, must be done. Chase was taken to a DUI testing center, where initially agreed to take the test, but went back on his decision later. You can let an attorney know at a later time. What he's telling you right now is that you can't call an attorney at this moment. At this moment, it's a decision that you have to make on your own about if you're gonna take the breath test or not. Okay. Yeah, whatever. That's up to you. Yeah, get on you're going to take the breath test? Yeah. Okay. I have some instructions for you just a few moments, okay? No, you know what? Never mind. No. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Chase, since you say that you weren't going to take the breath test, I'm going to have him read the bottom box to you one more time just to confirm, okay? Do you still refuse to submit to this test, knowing your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of at least one year? Yes or no? Well, if I don't refuse to, then what happens? That's pending with the DMV. What he can tell you for certain right now is that if you refuse to take the test, that your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of at least one year. Well, what can you tell me for certain if I don't take the test? Yeah, that's what he read to you, is that he's for certain. Is Oh, it'll be for certain if it's been a year. You know what? No. Nope. No, no what? No, ma'am, I'm not. You're not going to take the test? Nope. Okay. And you understand the consequences, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All efforts of the law enforcement to make him take the test were futile. At that point, he was taken to jail. But you know what his father, Sheriff Mina, had to say? This is a personal matter involving my adult son, and I expect this case to be handled like any other case through the justice system. Well, as it should be, no one is above the law. But this is child's play compared to what this next girl did. She literally brought a gun to a hand fight. On March 30th, 2023, the officers responded to shots fired complaint about a woman who brought out a gun and fired some shots over a heated argument with a neighbor, the victim. However, they catch up with her on the scene, but we're able to track her down in their white vehicle. When the police approached her, she ignored the officer's commands and things got ugly right from the start. Please, so I can have a discussion with you. Hey, step out the vehicle. Step out the vehicle. Are you allowed to do this? Step out the vehicle. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. Step out the vehicle. No, I don't understand what's going on. It's like, get on the floor. Get on the floor. You're being, you're not even tell me what I'm being like, held for. Like, what's going on? No. I'm going to get away. What am I being detained? Like, what are y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Can I get my phone? Like, what is y'all doing? Why do y'all be aggressive then, police? Okay. Got her. My phone. Can you get my phone? Get up. Get my phone. One, two, three. My phone is right there. Yep, we'll get it. Let's go. I said, let's go. What are y'all doing? Y'all not tell me why I'm being detained. Do you have anything you know I gotta be worried about, concerned about? Do you have anything on you that got to be worried about concern? Not about? on me. You can check me right now. Okay, cool. So what is the issue? What is the issue? I'm asking. Y'all not giving me communication. My phone is in the middle of the street. Yeah, we got it. We'll get it. Excuse me. I'm asking you, what am I, what's the issue here? Why am I we'll being pulled over? And then she's being highly aggressive. She's though. not being aggressive. Yes, she is. Go on, take a seat. Are you being pulled or are you being dragged? Go on, take a seat. What am I? Slide yourself in. What am I being? No. Slide yourself in. What am I? Put your feet Y'all aggressive. Y'all not telling me nothing, though. Y'all not telling me nothing, though. Hello, excuse me. You're not telling me nothing. Move your feet right now. Can y'all tell? No, because I have the right. I have the right for y'all to tell me something. Hello? And then y'all just shut the door. No. You need to tell me what I'm being detained for. Why am I in cuffs? Get the f off of me. Difficult. And then y'all don't even tell nobody what the f I'm being detained for. She played dumb like she didn't know what she had done earlier. She was cuffed and put in the police van. After a brief search of the car, they found the gun. Basically shooting guns off. Does she? Yeah. It's wet. Is she probably yeah, clean or something? No. That could be from old sealed me left on there. Yeah. Hey, can you help us in the rainbow Does it smell like gunpowder? That yeah, sounds like a weird question, but. Anyone got a white gloves? I don't have a bullet. It kind of smells like alcohol. <laughs> we can use the green. This is dumb as <sighs> Hello? Y'all searching my truck without a warrant. Hello? That's my private property. You're searching my stuff. My mom's federal. Do y'all not understand that shit? According to the law, the police are not allowed to search an individual's vehicle without a warrant or their consent unless there's probable cause. And in this case, this woman has been reported to be in possession of a gun, and that's enough ground. And turns out her mother is a federal agent. One would expect her to know the law, and she shouldn't just fire shots during an ordinary argument. Well, her mom being a federal agent wouldn't deter the police from doing their job, but this lady wouldn't admit to doing anything wrong as she kept arguing with the officers and wouldn't cooperate with them. Nothing. You say you will talk to me when it's ready, but you guys didn't let me know that nothing when you snatched me out of my car, though. Y'all got the wrong I got cameras on my house. There was a... All right. Y'all always get the wrong people, though. It's cool. I was attacked, and then y'all come get me. So we're going to start out with the fact that you are intoxicated and you're driving a vehicle. Are you going to be willing to consent to a breathalyzer? No, because I'm not drunk. I have a bottle in my car. Y'all found that. Uh -huh. I went to a party. Uh -huh. I'm allowed to have a couple of drinks, but I'm not over the limit. So that's fine. Right, well, that's why I'd like I was attacked at my own house address. So... That's what it is. Okay. I have cameras on my house, and y'all will see that. She okay. sent her man outside to attack me. All right. Well, we're starting out with the OVI right now, okay? OVI, my That's cool. So are you are you willing to go down for a breathalyzer? Lady, I'm going to go to jail regardless. It's, it's, it's just a yes or no. Just take me to jail, girl. All right. So since you're refusing, I do have to read this to you. 
You now are under arrest for okay. OBI, operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol. And I'm not. Okay. Okay. If you refuse to take any chemical test required by law, your Ohio driving privileges will be suspended That's immediately. Fine. Where my truck and going though? have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. Right. Nobody right has told me. Y'all snatched me out my car. Right. So as of right now, it's mm -hmm. OVI. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. You've whoa, 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 refused, whoa, whoa. You've refused for the no, breathalyzer no, no, test, no, no, no. so we're going straight down no, to jail no, 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 for no. that. Yeah, I don't know nothing about an OVI. Y'all just stopped the car and ripped me out of my car. That is That does not stand up. What, what am I being arrested for initially? Y'all follow me right up now? the street. Hold you guys... All right, so if you want the chance to tell me what happened in your side of the story, I'm still I'm arrested. Going, I'm, I'm still going to, to jail. I'm not getting out I this can't car talk though. To you about that right now. What I'm talking about is the OVI. There's no OVI. Okay. I want to know what I'm initially arrested for. Right. So you're being arrested for the OVI right now. I'm being arrested for an OVI. Correct. Now on top but of that. that okay, I'm listening. I'm sorry. On top of that. Uh -huh. You are being arrested for weapons while intoxicated, discharging a firearm over a public roadway, uh -huh. and aggravated menacing. Okay, but... And also obstruction for refusing to get out of the vehicle. Because I don't know what I'm being arrested for. Because you guys literally follow me up Delaware. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go pick somebody up. Mm -hmm. And then boom, street lights come on. I thought I... Right. So at this red, point, red light this something. point, I'm not going to talk to you about it. Why not? Because I haven't read you your rights, and I, I don't know if you're going to actually cooperate with me. I'm trying to, but I'm in the back of a police car, and I'm asking you why am I being arrested? All right, so with the OVI, you're are you are you refusing? I'm not understand. getting mad at you. I'm trying to have a productive conversation with you. Yes, ma'am, and I understand that, but I don't understand why I'm being... Did I run a red light? All right, so are you willing to take the breathalyzer? No, I'm not because I'm not drunk, but I'm okay. saying, did I run a red light? Did I not have my turn signal on? She refused an OVI test, leaving the officers with no choice but to arrest her. And even when the police took her to jail, she wouldn't stop arguing. Come on, go hop on out. I don't want to instruct because you already putting a strict adjustment on my shit. Step out of the vehicle. So I can. Step out of the vehicle. Yep. Right. You're going to walk over to that gray door right there. Yep. That's my cell phone right nope, there? Right there. All right. Where my uh, wallet at? And you, you have that? No, I don't. I have your cell phone. They, so they got my bank card? Right I don't know what they got. See, that's up. All the little right money there. I got, y'all gonna have my shit stolen? Nah. Damn. Just get towed to the tow lock, which is a secured lock. Go to sit down right there. Y'all gonna pay for my shit and put it out? No, it's on you. Don't break the wall. You wouldn't have this problem. All right. Make better life choices. You're just doing your job, but I don't like it. And I apologize for that. No, you don't. You really don't. You got the wrong I can't even get it. I can't even get it. Pistol whip, all that. And y'all still took me to jail. Now I'm all the victim. You know exactly what happened, right? I'm not saying the other person's telling the truth. I'm not so saying that. I'm saying sure. you know what happened, and you know why I was pulling you over. So why and then you still, jail? And then you still act like that. How, what does that show me? Jail. I was attacked, so I want fresh charges. But how am I supposed to believe that? So when y'all gonna get him, I want fresh charges. How am I supposed to believe that? I'm pressing charges against you. I want fresh charges against them. I got on my phone camera, on my camera. Matter of fact, okay, on my phone camera. Okay. Make sure you keep that. Right that he make sure you keep that. Yeah. Of course, she knows what exactly had happened. She only decided to play dumb. She claimed she was being attacked. But bringing out a gun against unarmed civilians wasn't the next thing to do. And of course, her mother's position would not stop her from being punished. This woman, later identified as Whitney, was charged with a laundry list of charges, including using a firearm while intoxicated, aggravated menacing, discharge of firearms, or near, as well as OVI. And here is yet another cop's daughter caught driving under the influence. On December 11th, 2023, police officers in Ohio were concluding a traffic stop when a woman's car broke down behind them. Good morning. Are you doing okay? Your car won't start? No. You need a tow? Please. Now, you know, if we tow it, it's going to be to your expense, okay? I don't know. I don't know how much uh, they charge. How much have you had to drink today? That whole bottle drink or what kind of drink? No, one drink. Literally nothing. Okay. If 
God is on the part right here. Alright. Put it to my sister's house. Put it here. That's all I got. And all I'm saying is, I have. One fifteen. Can you send another my location? I'm not on a hurry up. I just need somebody to call. Well, right now I have reason to believe that you may be impaired. No. I'm Based not on. Impaired. I just I'm I'm out of gas. That's all I am. I'm out of gas. I'm not impaired. Okay, give me a minute. I pull somebody over for driving with their lights off. Gave him a warning. Everything checks out. Okay. She stops here as I'm up there. I'm kind of suspicious. I drive back. Her car's not on. Uh, she ran out of gas. There's a open container, and I can smell the alcohol coming out of her, so... Okay. Right the okay. Go ahead and step out of the car for me, ma'am. Step out? Yes, ma'am. Do I have a search warrant? Don't need a search warrant. You, you need to step out. You no, I do not. Do I do not need a search warrant to have you step out of the car. You definitely do need a search warrant. I do warrant. not. I need a warrant to make you step out of the car. I mean, Pennsylvania v. Mims, I can get I'm you out of the car. Dayton. I'm in Dayton. Supreme Court case, Pennsylvania Pennsylvania v. Mims says that I can get anyone out of the car for any reason. You're right now, we're getting you out of the you're car. You're not in Pennsylvania, you're in Dayton. Doesn't matter, it's Supreme you're Court. You're in Dayton, it's not Ma'am, you either get out of the car or I'm going to make you get out of the car. I will get out of the car, but your rules is unworldly because you're talking about you need me to get out of the car when you're not in jurisdiction to even tell me to get out of the car. Ma'am, get out of the car. I will, but you're not in jurisdiction to tell me to get out of the car. I will get out of the car, but you're not okay, in jurisdiction. step out of the car. So I want you to, before, you, before I get out of the car, but to, I want you to know, in jurisdiction, you're not capable of telling me to step out of this car. Well, I'm glad, I'm willing, glad to point that you're, uh... I'm willing to point over because I need some help. That's why I'm pulling over. She needs to understand that the officer only needs a warrant to search her car. However, he doesn't need to ask her to step out of the car. But when this woman wouldn't stop arguing and talking back to the police, this happened. I'm pulling over. That's why I'm asking for y'all to pull over and help me. But what I'm saying is your jurisdiction, you don't got me to pull me over. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't. Why are you touching me, bro? You're on the highway. I'm not doing this right now. Why are you touching me, bro? Why are you touching me, bro? Because I pulled over, bro? Because I asked for help? You're touching me? You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You want to... You... He's asking me... He's, he's detaining me because I asked for help. He's detaining me because I asked for help. Stay right here. Help. I'm going to be putting you in handcuffs. Yeah, that's fine. So when you ask for me, I'm not going to do drugs and no worry, no none of that. Y'all going in jail. That's fine. I just asked for help on the side of the road, and y'all detaining me, bro. Because like my tire popped on the side of the road, and y'all detaining me. And I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a respect for y'all. Turn around, please. I'm, I'm respect this whole time, bro. I've never fought nobody, but he just pulled me out of my car, bro. And when I say you going to jail, and you getting your ass sued, bro, you getting your ass sued, bro. Sounds good. You just pulled you me out court. of my car, bro, for no reason, bro. Sounds good. I'll see it you does. I, I pulled over and asked y'all for help, bro. My purse is empty, but if you want to check it here, here, it's right here, right here, pull it up right here, no, no, check it, check it, it's right there, check it, since you want to pull me out my car and drag me out my car for no reason, bro, check that shit, it ain't no drugs in there, because I'm f***ing little. Right. So not, do not get in his face, you understand? So why is he in my face? Do you understand? So why is he in my You're face? You're the one yelling So why did he just drag me out my car, bro? So why did he just drag me out my car and I'm innocent, bro? Turn and around. I just got a flat tire, bro. Turn around. Everything's being recorded. Camera. Yeah, it is. And there's nothing in my pocket, bro, so y'all going to jail, bro. There's nothing in my f***ing pocket, bro, besides me asking for a help on a flat tire, bro. Y'all want to pull me over to the side and... It's and not a flat me. tire. You probably won't start. Bro, it wasn't a flat tire, Say this out of gas. Y'all have my saying. car. Look at my car, bro. It's not a flat tire. Look at my car, bro. It's not a flat tire. Y'all just pull me in Y'all act like I'm a... Y'all act like I'm a victim, bro. That's the... And this is all on camera, bro. It's all on camera. Cool, I'll see you in court. That yeah, sounds great. Yeah, I will, bro, because I didn't do nothing wrong to y'all. What am I? Do I got? Do I got a license? Yeah. Do I got insurance? Yeah. I think I dropped so what are y'all pulling me over yeah. for? Yeah. Yeah. So what are y'all pulling me over for? Hang on, no, 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 no. You hear me? I got license. Relax, I got insurance. Relax. So what are y'all pulling me over for? Drink so what are y'all licking? Y'all didn't do no test on me. Right, y'all didn't do no quality test on me. Y'all didn't do nothing. Why are you dead serious, bro? I'ma sue the f at y'all, bro. I'ma sue the f at y'all, bro. I'ma sue the f at y'all. I swear to God, I'ma sue 
you. I'm going to sue you. I'm my mama. You're fucking no, I bet you get that shit off. I bet you get that shit off. I'm going to sue you. I bet you will. You get that shit off because that's what you got. It's your job. I was in here for a f***ing for a flat tire. Put me in this motherf***ing seat, bro. You dead ass serious? For a flat tire, you going to jail, bro. And you losing your job, bro. And this, uh, are you dead ass serious? You going to throw me on the ground for this shit, bro? For a flat ass tire, bro. For help, bro. Yeah, y'all going to jail, bro. Y'all going to jail, bro. Y'all going to jail, bro. You going to smash me on the ground? Yeah, losing your job. Losing your job. This woman got totally violent and resistant, hurling insulting words and even threatening they would lose their job. The officer had to talk to her through the window, and even at that, she didn't stop yelling and cursing at the top of her voice. That's all I wanted to make sure. You have not oh, read me my rights before you arrest me. So I'm gonna sue you and you're gonna lose your job, just like all y'all. You have not read me my rights before you arrest me. So I just wanted to make sure that was that was clear. Because I have my license, I have my insurance, so you're going to jail and you're losing your license. You and him, because you did not read me my rights before you arrest me. I have my license, I have my insurance, I have all that. So lock this up. Whatever you want to do, I got bail money, I got bond me, I got all that. But you did not give me my rights, you did not put me out of that car with no jurisdiction, none of that. Nothing. Wait, you would take my picture and y'all put me out of my car illegally? Did y'all get that on the camera? Did y'all get that on the camera? Everything's I'm recorded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, read you your you rights, okay? Yeah, I hope you will. You, you need to listen now. Put me in the car. I don't mean I it. am a police yeah, officer you put and me you in are here by the you have a certain rights on silence. Okay. You have to put me in the you car. You have the right to that remain don't silent. Mean that, that don't mean you do not have to make any statements or answer any questions. Do you I'm understand? I'm in the car. Do you I'm in understand? the car already. I'm in the car already. What Anything you, you say, can it will be used against you in the court of law. Do you I'm understand? You're reading me my rights. You have the right to speak with a lawyer for advice before you ask any questions. You're going to jail. You have the right to have a lawyer with you during the question. You're reading me my rights after I'm already locked up in the court. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you will be appointed. You illegally arrested me. You're going Are you to listening? Jail. No, I'm not. If you because cannot afford a lawyer, a lawyer appointed by the court of you're going or a lawyer in the public defender's office about. will be provided because to you before to jail. and during you questioning without out, any cost to you. You pulled me out, bro. Put me out. If you decide to answer any questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop. You. And I'm going to take your job. Do you understand? Before you read me my now that you understand your right, are you willing to answer any questions? You put me in handcuffs before you read me my right. Do you not understand that? We're losing the job. You put me in handcuffs before you read me my right. What do you not understand? So we'll read you the BMW. What do you not understand? I have my right. 55. I have insurance. I have license. I have insurance. He's putting me in the car. He smashed my head. He informs you. We're going to tell you what's going on. And I have insurance. Hey, you can scream all you want, but I'm still going to... Hey, you can scream all you want, but I'm still going to... Hey, you can scream all you want, but I'm still going to... Hey, you can scream all you want, but I'm still going to... You are now under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, a drug or a common of them. Operating a vehicle under under the influence of a lethal control substance or a lethal metabolite of a control substance. Operating a vehicle under the under alcohol consumption or having physical control of a vehicle while under the influence. If you to take yeah, any chemical test required by law, your higher driver privileges will be suspended immediately. And you will have to pay a fee to have the privileges did reinstated. Did if you have a prior conviction no, of OVI did or operating a vehicle refused. under the influence I of a list of control substances or a mid of a control substance under the state or municipal law within the preceding 20 years, you are now under arrest for state OVI. And if you refuse to take any test, you will face increased penalties if you subsequently are convicted of OVI. By say law, by law, you have to be, okay, take any chemical test required by law and are found to be at or prohibited amount of alcohol, a substance, tabulate of a substance in your whole blood, blood serum or plasma. Urine, I said by law, your Ohio driving privileges will be paid immediately. And you have to pay a f Reinstated. Yeah, if you yeah. take a chemical, chemical test, you may have independent chemical tests for you. Now that I've read you, you're right. 
Do you and consent to blood? No, I'm not passing to none of that. Are you, you refusing? Did not ask me to you You're refusing? Okay. I will take your sobriety test. Yes, I will. No, we're past that. We're past that. What do you mean? I will you consent to taking blood? You will you consent to blood? Yes, I will. You want to do? You want to yes, give up blood? Will. Okay. Me, I will do a sobriety test. I will do blood. She agreed to take a blood test, and even when she's being transported, she wouldn't keep her mouth shut. Now it's time to tell the officers who her daddy is, and he's going to screw them up. Downtown, or get rid of me. Period. Y'all not gonna go on no police chases with me in the back seat. Take me downtown, cause y'all never asked me for no license. Y'all never asked me for no insurance. Y'all never did none of that. So take me downtown and arrest me, or get the f in my face, because I'm not sitting in the car with y'all chase my, f and my life is at risk. Take me downtown, do it the f legal way, cause y'all never asked me for my motherfucking license. Y'all never asked me for no f license. You know who my daddy is? He's a, the mother mayor of the city. You want to lose your job? You, you didn't ask me for nothing. You didn't ask me for no license. You didn't ask me for no insurance. You just literally put your hands on me and drag me in your car, bro. You all just put your hands on me for nothing. You weak ass. But I said, I'm gonna take your job because it's all on camera, bro. My daddy is the mayor of the city, bro. She was eventually charged with assault on an officer, operating under the influence, disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and obstructing official business. Although the conclusion of the case is unknown, I'm not sure her dad would be so proud of her attitude. But this next woman is on a whole new level. Kicking seems to be her speciality. On January 8, 2023, the officers responded to a call at an airport about a woman who was kicked off the airplane as she wouldn't stop cursing, spitting, and yelling at the employees. When officers arrived, she was seen walking towards the restroom, ignoring the police commands. She eventually locked herself up in the restroom. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no, you're not. Come here. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm just checking on you. What's going on? Not okay. What's going on? I don't know. Like, I'm not okay. Okay, well. I need a coming out. Okay, I'm a police officer. I'm here to check on you. Thank you. I need a coming out. Okay, open the stall. Let me, let me. I'm not comfortable to do it in a second. Okay, well, I can talk to you through the stall. What's going on? I have no idea. Like, they, like, I have no idea. Everyone in the said they were fine with me. Uh -huh. They were like making an issue. I was like, you're just going to delay your flight. I'm not going to delay your flight. Are you I'm trying to go vacation. home or on vacation? No, I'm going to work. What do you mean? Okay. Do you want to come out here and I can help you out? What airline? Oh, I, don't really, I don't feel sincere in your voice that you're going to help me out. I'm here to help you. What airline are you flying with? Obviously, no airline. That was the last airline tonight. Y'all just f that money, bro, because I didn't want to make a scene for y'all. Okay. So my biggest... Concerned. I, mean, I, mean, I got off the plane, so it didn't have to be a thing. Yeah. So I was like trying to be helpful, but like honestly, it's hard to Okay. So my goal is to make sure you get where you're going and make sure that you're safe yeah, to get there. So why do they want you to get off the flight? They don't just want anybody to get off the flight. There has to be a reason. They literally asked the whole crew. The whole crew did not say they could get me off the flight. They didn't. I voluntarily left because I know how it's like letting your flight and like. So why do you think they want to get off the flight? I have no idea. Obviously, somebody doesn't want me. They're doing a power Like, whatever. It has nothing to do with the whole flight. Okay. Can you open the door so we can go figure this out? Um, no, I don't feel comfortable with that. Because I feel like the, the whole reason, I don't feel comfortable. Okay, so well, I'm, I'm here. I'm not going to leave. I'm, I'm a, my, my, Obviously, yeah. I'm here, but I don't know. I don't, I don't trust you guys because the way that I got kicked off the plane was, was irrational. So, no, I don't feel comfortable. I don't work for the airlines. So. It don't matter who you yeah. How would you feel? I would if feel upset. Like you would do some shit for no reason. I would be upset. That shit would, like, it would scare you. You'd be yeah. scared. Yeah, and I want I'm some scared. answers. No, I'm scared. No, I'm a mess. Yeah, yeah, and I'd be scared. scared too, but that's why the police are here to help you get some answers. The police? Yeah. The police for what? Yeah, to help you out. No, y'all are just No. I'm not doing all this right now. So do you want to go to the ticket counter to try to get rebooked or get some help? Cause sitting in a stall. Yeah, they'll give you a refund. I'll get a refund. Yeah. Can you open the stall? I'm 
still, I'm, I'll let you stay on the toilet and I'll just, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm not even gonna come in. I'm not even gonna come in. Who said I was gonna arrest you? Lieutenant where? Does it matter? Is Lieutenant in Rhode Island? Okay. I mean, you're saying that. Like, I know what's going on and, it, and it's unreasonable. Well, can you, you open the, can you open the stall? I'm not going to come in. I'm just going to stand right here. No. No, I don't feel safe. I just want to know I'm from here. Yeah. Can I just have your phone? Because I don't feel safe. Yeah. Honestly, can you I, open I, the door? No, no, no. I want to go. I hear you. We are 911. Yeah. No, no, no. You're restricting me from 911 access. The police were finally able to talk her out of the bathroom. Well, do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't, I'm not on the plane. I'm not going to f*** up their whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, if I'm but if you if you go over there civilized, maybe you can I swear to God, be the most civilized person you've ever met. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. We're going to be here with you the whole time. That's yeah. This is all we want for you to come out. Do you have your boarding pass? Yeah. Where's your ID? Do you have your ID? I might, yes. Get it out for me. I'm gonna go to Frontier for you. And you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's fair. You did not have anything to drink today? I'm, I am not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to kick you off the plane. So just be honest. Just be honest. Yeah, let's just go out here. Just be honest. She didn't give a direct answer when she was asked if she was drunk. Instead, she said she wasn't out of control, but the police hadn't asked if she was out of control. Public intoxication is a probable ground for her arrest. She was probably trying to avoid that. She seemed to be cooperative at first, but now she wants her lawyer. Let's see how that plays out for her. Did you have anything to drink today? Is that against the law? No, that's Do what I need a lawyer? No. I'm gonna call a lawyer. For what? Before I ask. Answer any more questions, I'm gonna call the lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm gonna call the lawyer. Before I answer any eat? questions, I'm gonna call the lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm gonna call the lawyer. Have you eaten today? Talk to my lawyer about that. Okay. Uh, you haven't had anything to eat today? Talk to my lawyer. You take medication? Talk to my lawyer. Are you flying? Talk to my lawyer. Are you going to Georgia? Talk to my lawyer. Atlanta? Talk to my lawyer. Okay. We can both be uh, ridiculous. They're running people out of deep, so. Okay. That's fine. That's all. How the hell out? It's fine. It's great. It's how we want to spend our Sunday night, right? Yeah. That's fine. You know, you know, young people. Yeah. Yeah. So. We'll just hang tight. I will. I'll be happy to leave. I'm gonna go see what they're Okay, she did. The officers met with the staff of the hotel to grasp a full knowledge of what had transpired. Afterwards, the police met with this woman and calmly explained what had happened. But she didn't seem interested in whatever they had to say. I literally, because I offended somebody's feelings, does it, does it mean I should get kicked off the flight? No, it doesn't. Look, Karina. But you guys did that. Karina, here's I, the deal, okay? Listen, you guys did, listen, you did. You just said, we, I did wrong. We didn't. We are the police. We don't work for the airline. The airline calls us, and we come over to a Okay, so she's screaming, We have no idea. I'm ready when you're all day. And now she'll be arrested for public intoxication. Okay, Miss Karina. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to, okay? You're, I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? Take your backpack Seriously? off. Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a Take disturbance. Take your backpack off. I'm not doing any of that. Wait, 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 no, I want to witness. Take your backpack off. Okay, take your it's all being recorded. Yeah. Just take your backpack yeah. off, okay? Are you serious? Take your backpack off. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, will you will I'll you call my dad. I'll call my dad. I'll call my dad. Yeah, no, calm down. Call your backpack off. Calm down. Who's the lieutenant? Calm down. No. No. No, I I was not kicking and screaming anywhere on that plane. No, okay. pull up the finish. No, okay. that's a reason. No. Just calm down. No. Okay. Shoot me then. We're not going to no. be no. We're not going to be Get it. Oh, that's me too. I'm going to be fine. I'm Well, you didn't want to talk to us, Karina, so I had to go ask the airline. Okay, so believe whatever they want, like whatever. This is annoying. This is an inconvenience to me, my shit. 
Is your address on your license, correct? I call my lawyer about that. Don't touch my shit. Are you gonna put it in your bag? As you can see, she wasn't too violent when arrested initially, but nothing prepared the officers for this woman's subsequent actions. I don't, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm standing right here. No, I don't, no, I don't want him touching me. I literally, he's on a power play move. I don't want him touching me. I literally don't want him touching me. I'm asking you not to let him touch me. I don't want, I ask me, I don't want you touching me. I don't want him touching me. I don't want him touching me. I said I don't want him touching me. Stop. I don't feel comfortable with him okay. No, I don't want you touching Karina. me. Well, see, that's why he was doing that, because now you're kicking. I, yeah, because he's touched me and I don't want him to. I, you shouldn't touch a woman if she doesn't want to be touched. Well, right now you're under arrest yeah. and he has that ability. Wow, because I'm under arrest? Okay, f you. So? you. So, oh, yeah, I can do whatever the I want to just put some cops in. Oh, my God. Uh, Karina. Oh, yeah. I don't want him touching me. I'm feeling really uncomfortable. I feel like it was like. He's just holding your leg. No, wait, no, the fact that I wasn't even arrested, I feel like I'm not, like, it wasn't in the right. If I felt like it was in the right, it would be understandable, but I already feel uncomfortable about that. Is that one thing back that he's fing holding me like this? It's not okay. How would you feel? Your, dad, your dad's a police officer. How the right? would you feel? Your dad's a police officer. Matthew, how would you feel? Not Matthew, your dad's a police officer. Matthew, how would you feel? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. What she did next was even crazier. All right, Karina, can you walk for us? I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. Karina! 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 I don't want to touch you. What? I don't want to touch you. I said I don't want to touch What don't you understand? What don't you I don't understand? Want to do not kick the officer. Do not kick an officer. Okay, so a female officer is escort me like ass. That's a simple Do not point. kick an officer. Okay, I don't want to touch me. Do you understand? Do no, he touched me in a Do you understand? No, he touched don't. Me. I don't. Is she here? Call my lawyer. Get my lawyer. That's not even all. Karina had the mind to even threaten these cops after all she had done. This girl is a total maniac. All right, Karina, so we're going to come in here, okay? No. Yeah, you're gonna get out the car for me so we can search you inside. And then you'll be able to call your father. Alright? Obviously, like, he's already here. He already has my GPS. That's not, he's in the FBI, not the police department. Okay. Anyway, so that's besides the point. So, yeah, so you really want that to happen? Really? You can I make phone you. calls in here. I don't need a phone call. I don't need, I don't need to talk to anybody where I'm out there always in the room. Okay, well, let's go. That's on you. Okay. See you all? Yeah. You sure? Possible. Mm. Think about that. Do what? I said think about that for me. Mm. Sure. Karina, come on. Mm. I don't think it's gonna be interest. No. Um, it's either you getting out of the car on your own or we're gonna have to help you get out of the car. Yeah. It's not your best interest, stop such a Karina. I'm just letting you know from what I'm telling you was in your best interest for your career. Yeah, uh, yeah, hey, hey, Papa says it's just that. Don't shoot me in the face, too, right? So we're gonna assist me. Don't touch me. I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to touch me. I'll give me. Give me. Oh my god, I'm such a danger. Give me. 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 Give me.
I said no. I would put you out. No, but I'll say for you. You would be. You would be. I said no. I said no. I don't feel safe. I'm not touching anything. I don't trust any of you. You don't need to touch. I don't trust any of you because I didn't do anything wrong. If y'all wanted to talk about something, I'm an adult. We can have a conversation about it. The fact that I'm here right now, I don't trust anybody. So no, I'm on the defense. So no, I'm not putting my fingerprints on anything. This is not going to go anywhere. It's my charge. I asked what my charge is. I have the right to know my charge. Public intoxication? No. Yes. That's the ring. Not ring. A smooth police officer? Yes, Patty. What do you think I was going to do? Stop. No. Really? Come on. Seriously? Yeah, so we're trying to help you, okay? Just out, so we're trying to help you, okay? Relax your hand. Come on. Relax your hand, please. Why don't you just come up and just come to us? Why don't you just come up and just come to us? Why don't you just come up and just come to us? Why don't you just come up and just come to us? Why don't you just come up and just come to us? It's not doing it, no. Just put your finger there. Actually, I'm not doing it. Just put your finger there. No. Okay. I mean, there's cameras everywhere, so I mean, you're safe. I know, my GPS is here. I'm not safe with you. I don't want you touching me. I really want your hands off of me. Actually, I really want to punch you in the face. You're gonna help and you can shoot me after that. So you want, I really want your hands off of me. I want her hands off of me. I don't want somebody touching me. You're not creating. You're just going to pretend yourself on me. That's all right. Okay. Karina was eventually arrested, and even her dad won't stop her from being charged. She faces charges including resisting arrest without violence, assault on a public servant, and public intoxication. Thanks for watching. For more crime videos, do like and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.